Hello everyone. Welcome to another Artsy Tuesday. I know it's been a few weeks since the last time, but we did actually get one really good ghost drawing from Ken. And here it is. This week, we'll actually be drawing a pumpkin for Halloween, which it will be this weekend. I hope you're all excited, and I'm pretty excited to draw this pumpkin. So here we go. So all you will need to draw this is perhaps some sort of marker or pencil, um, some crayons if you want to color, and just a regular white sheet of paper. Um, so let's get started with our pumpkin that could be spooky and could also not be spooky. So we'll start with kind of a flattened out C. And just like that. And then maybe more like a C, we'll draw two on each side of our other flattened C. So we come out like this. One C and then like so on the other side and another C. And then We'll draw two lines on top, a little bit curved, to start out on our little stem of the pumpkin. And this one's a little bit more crooked. And then, at the top of those two lines, we'll draw a little circle. And that looks like it's our little stem for our pumpkin. And then, once again, we'll draw two curved lines, like flattened C's, for the lines within our pumpkin. One on that side and one on this side. And then we'll draw another curve to make the bottom of our pumpkin. And to give more detail to the stem of our pumpkin, we'll draw four curved lines within the stem. One, two, three, and four. Now, it kind of looks like wood a little bit. And two more flattened C's. One here, and one over here. So now, it looks like we already have a pumpkin, which looks great, but maybe we can draw a little swirly that kind of looks like the vine that the pumpkin was picked from that makes it look a little bit more fancy. And if you've ever carved a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween, now that our pumpkin is finished, we can give him a face. So one triangle over here, you can color it in. And then one triangle over here, you can color it in. And it looks like he's missing a nose. So we'll draw another triangle for his nose. And he looks a little weird, and that's because we've forgotten his smile. So let's give him a big happy smile. Now we can color it in. And if we want, we can draw a little square for his little tooth. And there you have a pumpkin. So here I've got some colors to finish off our pumpkin. So I've got black so that I can color in where I didn't on his little face. And then I grabbed green so I could color in the side where I drew his little vine. So it gives it a little bit more color. Also got brown, so I could color his little stem. And now, last but not least, his whole body. I got two different color oranges, so I could alternate between his little pieces. So the first one, I'll color this one. And 
And there we have it. A pumpkin turned into a jack-o'-lantern. I hope you enjoyed this week's Artsy Tuesday. And I really, really hope that you guys decide to draw this pumpkin and then also turn your pumpkin into a jack-o'-lantern and send me an email at c-a-r-v-i-n at p-c-p-l-k-y dot o-r-g. Thank you guys for watching.